Perfect. Hello, sexy baby. <laughs> Good morning, peoples. How's it going out there on the other side? And a very Merry Christmas to you. If this video comes a bit later and you're like, wait a second, Christmas was like weeks ago, month ago, forgive me, I've been taking it slow with uh, posting the footage, but I'm sorting out all these things here to continue to ride to Patagonia. So hang in there and we'll get to uh, regular programming. But today we gotta leave Sao Paulo on Christmas Day. The place is deserted, which is awesome because there's almost not gonna be anyone on the road. But we're going to Ribeirão Preto, where we're gonna sort out, hopefully all goes well, the new baggage system for L. But we only got two days because otherwise they close shop until uh, like 6th, 7th of January. So we wanna sort that out and I'm gonna hit the road now. Let's go. Pronto. Olha, muito obrigado aí, pá. Olha, muito bom, bom dia, dia Natal, tá? Nos vemos. Atenção. Let's go! Ooh, look at this. This is São Paulo, right now. It's like Walking Dead. Oh, shit, 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 homie, shit, homie, shit, 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 my phone was having issues, it's, it's, it's dying, so some screen was going away and it was going backwards and I had to reload the route again and I'm not going fast enough. Yeah, so it's happening again. The battery of the phone is dead and it's actually uh, expanding really fast. And the phone uh, discharger's super fast now. Yeah, now I'm not sure if I'm on the right road. Oh yeah, flying blind. I think this should be it. Could it be? Could it be? Yeah! Nice. Anyway. Oh, the signal's have to pay again. Oh, no. Bom dia em Ribeirão Preto. We're on our way to uh, Bras Motos or Moto Shop. Not Brazil. Oh, nothing's happening here. This is an online shop. I'm not sure if uh, the supplier of their panniers, they're one and the same or not, I'm not sure. But the actual manufacturer, they're closed, unfortunately. We'll see what we can do. See who's uh see who's home. Pô, wow, wow, bom dia. Yeah. Tudo bom? Tudo bem, você. Quer colocar aqui dentro? Olha, seria perfeito, meu. Então, só abrir aqui para você. Tá, obrigadinho. Ah, tô. É isso. Como é que você chama? Danilo. Danilo, eu sou o Pedro. Tudo bem, Pedro. Fica à vontade.
que é onde a gente fabrica as peças. Mesmo o braço, tudo do braço. Tudo, vocês... é. Aqui que a gente faz, os baús são aqueles ali. Isso. Começou Isso. o motor shop. E aí a gente começou a ver que tinha alguma demanda de peça que, que o mercado não estava absorvendo, a gente começou Sim. a produzir. Sim. Aí começou pequenininho, a gente começou num galpão desse tamanho, a gente já está o dobro e já não está cabendo mais quase. Não estou dentro do baú. Isso aqui é um baúzão. <risos> É bacana. Eu tiro essa base e depois é mais fácil para, para comparar. Isso é mais pequeno, eu acho que o outro. O outro dá para fazer alguma coisa. Vou take off the base. Vamos ver o que we can do. So with Danilio here, we're testing uh, different base plates that they already have, uh, which might be able to go on the top frame to attach the case to, which is uh, lucky if it works that way, because um, originally I had the plan of, you know, I'll have someone uh, go to engineer, cut a steel plate, fit it here on top, and then on top we can add whatever uh, custom plate they already have. So, but we're testing. This This is actually the biggest one now. E você roda o mundo inteiro. E agora chegou o... Narcísio. Narcísio. But he, he's come to have a closer look at what we could do. Let's see what he found. O que será? trying to do all this mechanical work and I got new jeans and uh, I don't want to get them dirty that's the hardest thing to do the the people who normally do the like the manufacturing the engineering stuff and bending stuff and all that sort of uh, custom goodness they're on vacation till the 6th and they're still open till two days now it's the 26th today yeah and then they're also closed until New Year. So very lucky this man come along to make some holes and whatnot uh, to get, at least get some customization done. So excellent, man. <laughs> Sexy baby. <laughs> yeah, boy. I like the design. It's it's like the only good design you this thing, right? People going already. Pedro, why is your top case a big man? It's like I love a top case, man. A good top case. You can put the you know, all the important stuff that you want to keep away from the ground, away from the water. Stick it in there, man. Like, had this case here for five years, and it's done an amazing job. What a beauty! Muito prazer a você. Muito obrigado. Obrigado. Precisar de qualquer coisa, a gente está à disposição. Tá bem. We're we're gonna test. I told them if you want a real, gonna want to have a real test of how the whole setup works for the future. I'm gonna provide you with some good information. Mas obrigado por vir cá, pá, por e ajudar a fazer isso. Still, all this protection to not scratch it, and we're just laughing because I was like looking at this to throw the, 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 the buckle through here. I was like, no, 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 we're, we're, not gonna, we're not gonna scratch it, you know. We're just gonna go through here, take real good care, and then 
in a month for free, you know, it's just like bam, slam, throw it around, you know, scratch the thing, who gives a shit? But right now it's like, little precious. My beautiful, beautiful little precious. It's like when you, uh, when you get a new helmet, right? Preciosa! Double top cases. This is how I'm gonna ride from now on. I'm just gonna stick everything in there. Whoa! Here we help. It's Christmas, I. Eh? Merry Christmas, go. Honey, I'm home. Carrying this thing around is like uh, carrying an Atlas stone. So we're back here at Moto Shop, eh? and today it's all about finding uh, side panniers that can work with the bags because it's uh, not rackless. And there's one that will need modification at an engineer shop. There's another one option that I can combine parts of two racks also cutting engineer shop. And now we're testing a more heavier rack for actual panniers that goes on a tiger, but they're adjustable, the pieces. Yeah, a bit of puzzling and then uh, picking one and, uh, which I'll uh, have to work with to make it fit on Alp. This is uh, the drone I've gotten uh, second hand for a very, 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 very sweet price of my uh, secret Santa. My phone doesn't work with the drone, so I'm uh, using an instance here. This is the first time. Is it recording? <laughs> I'm talking like a total noob. Here's what I decided to do. I'm gonna buy this rack for a Tenere. Good thing is this connection here, the distance from the exhaust, same here. And also this piece is very long. We can cut this off, create a diagonal to another part of the top frame, right? And then I have to find a welder, but it's the holidays, the Christmas period is over, and now it's the New Year period. So it's gonna be hard finding a welder, engineers, they might be gone until the, the 6th, you know, not be available. The guys here that normally work here, the engineering part, they could have done wonders here. But, unfortunately, they're not here. So I think I'm uh, going to head out back to uh, Sao Paulo. So we've been thinking um, on the 2nd, there's Again, someone flying in with the last couple of things that I've ordered from abroad. I'm going to be still here on the 3rd, and the whole crew here is going to be back on the 6th. All the smarty, handy dudes, you know, that know the product, uh, have all the means here to make the modifications. So I'm just going to come back. We'll do the work, and after that, it's on. For that, Daniel. Verdade. É isso. Mate, it's just, it's just space in here, man. Just so much of it can move things around. What a great novelty. Here's a banana for scale. It's pretty big, though. Tá bem, Daninha. Vamos juntos. Movemos rápido outra vez. Olha, se não vemos, eu acho sim, mas se não vemos também, fica na boa, meu. Obrigadinho. É isso. Tá, tchauzinho. Alright, so I guess we'll be back, you know. Like these people know what they're doing. That's worth your time and money, so. Alright. Bringing the Atlas stone down. <laughs> Still getting the hang of this, but it's pretty straightforward. So what we're doing uh, today is uh, head back to Sao Paulo, get ready, Livre Verão Preto, 300 case, back to where we came from.
Tá zen, Mari? Let's go back to São Paulo. Let's stop here first and have a look. Gotta fuel up. That truck's going the wrong way down the roundabout. I guess that's the best way for him to exit. Hold up, my man. <laughs> nice. Fuel up. All right, phone is already almost empty just getting here from uh, the hotel for 15 minutes. So now I'm uh, going to put it to charge. So once we get to Sao Paulo, we can navigate there too. Esse. Pedro Marcos. E vais ver. Tá, boa viagem. Toma lá cafezinho, descansa, hein? É, um pouquinho. Falou, boa viagem. Tchau, Falou. obrigado. much almost back in my street it's not very busy here today that's nice wasn't expecting uh, this easy going traffic for the center drop everything off at the gate we're going back to the same Airbnb well that's where I left things behind so and help is edging on reserve anyway we're back a nice big fat case Tá bom?